But I'm Claire Gollop, the um, Programme Director for the National Policing Modern Slavery Portfolio. The unit that we've set up in Exmouth um, supports all 43 police forces to, inf to improve the way in which they tackle modern slavery and exploitation. Police forces across England and Wales are able to access support from the unit. They can access training and investigation advice, um, good practice examples and the latest data and analysis that helps transform the way in which they respond to modern slavery locally. At a regional level, we've embedded 10 regional coordinators and regional strategic analysts in each of the ROCUs across the country. At a national level, the Police Transformation Unit has teams embedded inside the National Crime Agency. We've developed a new way of analysing the threat at a national level and brought together analysts from Border Force, HMRC, Immigration Enforcement, GLAA, NCA and crucially policing to help the police service really understand what this threat looks like and identify the best way to tackle this. We also have set up a, team, a national an analytical team based here in Exmouth who are helping to drive forward our understanding of how the police tackle modern slavery and the best ways um, that we can improve that. At an international level, the Modern Slavery Police Transformation Unit includes staff embedded inside Europol, helping to improve the flow of information from other countries that will help us identify and protect victims of modern slavery here in the UK. The Modern Slavery Police Transformation Programme is centrally funded by a grant from the Home Office, completely separate to the funding that is generated for Devon and Cornwall Police. On behalf of the Home Office, Alison Hernandez looks after that grant to make sure all of that money is well spent.